Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the North Santa Eagles High School Gymnasium for this, the first home game of the 1992-93 season. And Frank, for Hoop fans, this has got to be an exciting time. I think this is our fourth year doing these cable games, and I think this is a team this year they may not be as good as that team four years ago, but I think we are definitely a District 1 championship caliber and have a good shot. How do you feel about that? Well, I certainly think we do. We lost one player from last year, Brian Tolliver. We got the whole team back. In addition to that, we picked up a couple very good players. Of course, we picked up one from Upper Marion, fortunately. <laughs> but uh, the big thing is experience. We have an experienced team. Everybody's back. That's our big advantage. We have depth. We may go as well, we go at least seven deep, maybe nine deep. We have speed. We should score a lot on the transition game, and the speed should mean a lot on defense. In fact, I expect us to more, win more games by defense than by offense. Um, our weaknesses, well, we know the big weakness. The big weakness is probably not going to be on the court. It's eligibility. As we've said in the past, we have stricter requirements than the PIAA rules, and it's going to be tough for our kids to remain eligible. They have to do the job in the classroom. Also, we have no consistent outside shooter. If I was playing against Norristown, I would play a tight defense with everybody on the paint. I would tell nobody to go more than 10 feet from the basket until Norristown proves to me that they can make the outside shot. Uh, another danger I see, the team knows they're good, and here they come behind us. They know they're good, and there's a tendency to be overconfident. They can't afford to take any teams for granted, especially a team like Penwood that we're playing tonight. And also, they have to believe the coach knows what he's doing. When you have a lot of talent, they tend to think they can do it on their own, and they can't. John Cresswell has been there before. He has almost an 80% winning record. He knows the game. He knows what they have to do. They have to listen to him. Hey, Frank, I saw you talking earlier to Coach Cresswell, and I wonder, you mentioned about the three-point shooting, the outside shooting. Did he give you any idea of who we might be able to count on from outside there? No, he doesn't know yet. He honestly doesn't know. Uh, what I see, well, his own son is probably the best outside shooter. The problem is, uh, what Coach Cresswell was saying is they aren't taking the outside shot. They're trying to they're trying to get it inside. Even when they have the outside shot available, they're still trying to get the ball inside. They have to start taking it, especially when they play teams where they're going to get a big lead. They have to start taking the outside shot, get some experience at it, because we're, we're going to run into smart coaches who are going to give them the outside shot and just crowd it up underneath. Yeah, of course, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It may be that we're able to control the boards and get in close and get the shots that we want. But I agree with you. The other guy I think that can shoot from the outside is Harry Allen. We've seen him hit from the outside. But if those two guys aren't shooting and they can pack it and we could be in trouble. Frank, I'd like to talk a little bit about Derek Perry. I thought Derek was probably the most improved player I saw last year. And I look for really big things from him this oh, year. I think so. I think some scouts are going to come around and be very impressed with Derek. And, you know, he can play backcourt. He's that. He can play backcourt. He can play anywhere on the court. Yeah, in fact, at six foot three, when he goes on to college, uh, he would have to be a backcourt player. They're not going to play him up front. I believe in early season uh, forecasts about our team, both uh, Derek and Harry Allen were named as possibility as all area players or all district players. So that's quite an honor to have two players from one team mentioned. Yeah, and it, it should help them through District 1. I, we have to be the favorite team to win District 1 at this point. Uh, what you see in the papers, there are four teams that I've seen mentioned. have been Downingtown, Pinwood, Pensbury, and Norristown. Now, we've already beaten Downingtown at a neutral site, and this Wednesday we go to Downingtown, and I plan to be there at that game to see how we do on an away court. Penwood is another team mentioned, but they were upset in their first game by Westchester East by two points, but they did have one starter out in that game, which could make a difference. Uh, I think what you said earlier, Penwood's going to be a real test tonight. And the big thing is, in the tournament at Pottstown, our outside shooting was less than 30%. Uh, you get, you're going to have to do better than that to win the big games. All right. Tonight's game, ladies and gentlemen, with Penwood, the two players to watch on Penwood, I think. Number 55, Rich Barnes, who is a six-foot-four-inch player, well-regarded in the district. 
And a very well-known name, if you know his brother, number 23, Ray Curry, whose brother is Rap Curry, and I saw him at Penwood, and he was quite a player. Down at St. Joe's now, if he is anywhere as good as his brother, we've got to keep our eye on him yeah, tonight. Well, St. Joe's is my alma mater, and I was glad when they picked him up. Okay. Um, from our team, what kind of defense do you expect? What do you think we'll be playing tonight? I think I think we'll play our typical defense. Because of our speed advantage, we'll probably play all over the court. Uh, we'll play tight man-to-man -man probably unless we're forced to go into a zone. We'll chase them down all over the court. Unless we get a big lead, uh, that's basically that's what I've seen we'll be doing. An unknown entity, Frank, for Norristown. A player that we have heard a lot about. I think we've seen him play maybe one game, Condi Bates. What do you know about him? What have you heard about him? He's good. What he lacks now is experience that he didn't get last year and the year before. But I expect him to come along. I expect Condi to come along. He's great underneath the basket, has some good shots. He's certainly going to be an asset to our team. All right. Again, you mentioned the depth of Norristown. Has to help us. We've seen other years where if they've been in foul situations, there simply was not a bench to go to. That is not going to happen this year. Speaking of fouls, Jim, our foul shooting isn't that great either. <laughs> we're great underneath the basket, but we're going to have to get some improvement on that outside shooting, even from the foul line. All right, we've noticed that before, too. So let's hope we see an improvement tonight in that. Well, opening tip-off just three minutes away from the home season, a year that both Frank and I really look forward to. We hope a lot of you North San Eagle fans will come out here and support the team. This could be a very exciting year. We have basketball again this Friday, our opening league game with Abington. We hope that we will see some of you here. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, just in time for the national anthem. We will return with the starting lineups for tonight's game. cheerleaders led by captains D'Amica Vaughn and Jill Kinkner singing the national anthem. Starting lineups for tonight's game for Penwood come in with number 55 Rich Barnes and number 30 Mike Strickland at the forwards, number 52 Jim Witherspoon at center, and number four five foot eight inch Raheem Walls, number 23 Ray Curry at the guards. The people to watch Barnes and Curry. For the Eagles of Norristown, number 33, Alfonso Gibbons, six foot one. Number 34, Derek Perry, six three. Number 42, Harry Allen, six three. Number 40, John Cresswell Jr., six three. And number 30, Condi Bates, six three. Not a real big team, Frank, but one that certainly should be able to be active on the boards. Yeah, and they certainly should have speed. Of course, we have no idea what the opposition has. Perry jumping center with Witherspoon. Witherspoon with a three inch height advantage. There goes the tip, controlled by Allen. Allen goes to Cresswell. Cresswell bringing the ball up. Looks like Pinwood's in his own defense. Cresswell at the top of the key, over to Perry. Perry to Allen. Notice they have Perry rotating on the outside, Frank. Here's Perry underneath. Bates loses it out of bounds. Pinwood take over. 1-2-2, one, 1-3-1. Two, two, one, one. Well, Jim, I think uh, Penwood's going to force us to take the outside shot. They're playing that zone. There's the ball into Barnes. Barnes moving underneath, and we have a foul. Foul's going to be on Bates. 
And Barnes Frank is a big force, you can see him. He's 6'4", he's stocky. He's gonna be quite a force underneath there. We're gonna to have to cut off him coming from the basket. Oh, that's Strickland in the corner. Strickland's taken away by Cresswell. Down to Allen, Allen in the break. Bounce be underneath, ball stripped. Over to Giddens, Giddens up, he's got it. Alfonso Gibbons put the Eagles up 2-0. Walls with the ball in the backcourt with him. There's Curry. Curry finds. There goes Barnes. Barnes under for two. That was Strickland to Barnes. Good ball movement for Penwood. Cresswell to Allen. Allen will bring the ball up for the Eagles. Tie game in the early going. Just about one minute gone. Cresswell coming up to the top of the key. Over to Allen. Allen looks for the shot, looks again, changes his mind. Bounce pass to Perry. Perry with a jumper, up no good. Perry battling, but it's little Raheem Walls. Comes off with the boards. Smallest man out on the court. There's Curry on the drive. You know, Jim, Penwood did scout us twice, and they may have noticed that we, we try to get the ball underneath. We don't take that outside shot, and they're probably well, going to force us. Yeah, the take. way you break that is right there. You, you start, you take some of the open shots that you have. There goes Perry on the drive to Giddens. Giddens ball blocked by Barnes. Barnes gives it to Walls. Walls moving up quickly. Find Strickland. Strickland left-hander with a jumper way off. Perry with a board. Didn't touch anything. Allen coming back for the Eagles. Moving it up quickly. Allen on the move. Strong going in. Ball taken away. Right back. Giddens again. Nice play by the Eagles Harry up 4-2. I think he actually lost control of that ball. <laughs> and it, it just bounced through. I mean, he through. didn't do that on purpose? <laughs> Eagles also playing a zone. Walls here up high. Over to Strickland. Strickland back, Walls taken by, almost taken by Cresswell. Walls controls, coming back, beats Allen. Walls driving, tries to go all the way, ball taken away by Perry. Perry to Allen. Allen wisely didn't try to force it that time, comes back outside. Cresswell with a three-pointer, off high, Giddens battling. Underneath, ball is off of Witherspoon. Eagles will control. jumper he's got a three eagles out quickly to a 7-2 lead 5:30 left in the first quarter that's what they need frank there's curry curry coming cross court to strickland almost stolen and it's stolen by bates except walls gets it right back here comes walls Walls slows it down looks for strickland outside the walls up high over to curry curry launches a shot strong no good giddens on the rebound no one there to contest him. Coming down to Harry Allen. Allen over to Perry. There goes Perry with the ball from the corner. No good. Giddens with a rebound. We've got a foul. Let's see who it's on. Maybe that's John Cresswell's strategy is to move Perry out and have him take the outside shot. Foul is on Witherspoon. Yeah, Perry did not get that many points from the outside last year, as I remember. Well, strongest he, did, work. he didn't get the opportunity to play outside. Maybe he's going to start moving him out. He does have a pretty pretty decent outside shot. Giddens on the line for two. First run up, nothing but court. And that's the kind of foul shooting we want to see from this team, Frank. You have to make your foul shots, particularly in those close league games. Ball around, no good. Tap up, no good. That was Bates up high. Barnes comes down with a rebound. Eagles by six. Walls comes up. Giddens knocks the ball out of bounds. Eagles reback very well to the ball, Frank. Yeah, our biggest advantage is probably speed. Here comes Walls. Walls in there to, to Witherspoon. Witherspoon up with a jumper from the foul line. He's got it. Using the backboard. Didn't look like he really wanted to take that shot at first. Cresswell over to Allen. Allen looks to Perry down the corner. Perry back to Allen up high. To Cresswell at the top of the key. Under to Perry. Drops it right behind his back to Giddens. Actually, a pretty nice move. Yeah, I don't think Giddens was ready no. for it. Cresswell with the ball over to Allen. Allen to Perry. Perry's open. Launches the three. It's strong. Giddens right there. Giddens no good. Giddens back with a board. Up again. Blocked this time. Brought down by Witherspoon. Coach Cresswell hollering for a foul. Here comes Walls. Walls on the move. Looks over for Curry. Curry on the spin move. Takes the jumper, 
Off the board, no good. Rebound right there, no contest. Barnes again. It's four points for Rich Barnes. Allen to Cresswell. Cresswell back to Allen. Allen launches the three. Strong off the board. Battle underneath. Foul's going to be on Barnes for pushing off underneath. His first personal. Second foul against Penwood. Allen will inbounds underneath the Eagle basket. Eagles up 8 6. 3.39 left. Ball comes deep to Perry. Bounce pass to Allen. Allen looks for the shot, but dribbles back to the top of the key. Waves Cresswell around on the rotation. There's Perry to Cresswell. Cresswell with a jumper, off strong. The Eagles are strong tonight on most of their shots. Here comes Walls again, looking down court. Penwood certainly likes to play at the fast pace. Over to Curry. Curry looks for the shot on the dribble on the baseline. Tries to find Barnes underneath, but the ball knocked away out of bounds. That was Perry knocking it out. Walls underneath. Pinwood in their eyes stack. Walls comes deep. Nothing there. And back court. we have a backcourt to carry over and back on the inbound pass. Good defense by the Eagles that time. Forced Pinwood into a turnover. Penwood's going into that tight zone. They're more than willing to give us the outside yeah, it shot. Yeah, it looks like a 2-3 or a 2-1-2. Two, two. There's Perry. And until you start making that shot, you can't blame him. Allen comes across to Cresswell. Cresswell looks underneath, ball hits off the basket, battle there. We're gonna have a jump ball. But you know, you're, you're just not Perry. gonna get that ball inside like that against that zone. There's too many hands up in the air. Possession over to Penwood. A little bit of pressure by Cresswell, but here's Curry on the dribble. No one pressuring him, moves up. Curry moving off to the right side of the basket. Goes in to Witherspoon. Witherspoon to Barnes. Barnes with a jumper, no good. Condi Bates with a rebound. Bates off. Over to Allen. Allen moving up. A dribble bounce pass to Perry. Perry with a jumper up, no good. Rebound by Bates. Lost, and there's a battle for the ball. What's the call? I think it's a foul on Perry. Now fouls on Giddens. It's Giddens first, also the Eagles second. Curry right in front of us with the inbound pass to Walls. Walls back to Curry. Curry on the bounce pass to Bryant. Off to Witherspoon, strong with the ball, battle on the board. Controlled by Perry, big rebound, over to Cresswell. Cresswell coming down, bounce pass to Allen. Allen back to Cresswell. Cresswell over on the right to Perry. So far the Eagles a little cold from the field. Outside to Cresswell, over to Allen. Allen with a jumper, up, strong, no good. Perry on the rebound, comes in, up, yes! He's got it. You can see Penwood's strategy. They're keeping their whole defense inside that three-point circle. They're saying to the Eagles, you're going to have to take that outside shot if you want to score. Penwood foul on Witherspoon. That's his second. Sorry, Barnes. And you certainly like to see him get out of the game. Hurry with a shot. He's got it. Eagles two for three on the foul line. Five-point Eagle lead, 154 left. Pressure by the Eagles, broken easy. There's Curry. Curry launches the three. Strong off the board, battling for the rebound. That's Cranford who's come in the game. Got it, ball knocked away. Battle underneath, Witherspoon, no. Battle off the board, finally controlled. Coming off to Norristown. I'll tell you, Jim, both teams, there's a lot of hustle underneath there. A lot of hand action. Penwood fighting underneath there. Uh, substitution number 34, Zach Cranford, is now in the lineup. He has replaced Strickland. Eagles with Cresswell over to Perry. Perry comes outside to Allen. Walls playing him. Allen up high. Here goes, oh, Giddens has turned around. Allen with a pass. Giddens wasn't looking. Here comes Walls. Walls with a bounce pass over Cranford. Got it. Turn around jumper. Nice look that time by Raheem Walls. 11 8 Eagles. Coming down to the one-minute mark in the first period. Cresswell to Allen. Allen to the top of the key. Allen always looking for that pass underneath. Over to Cresswell. Cresswell back to Allen. 
Allen again to Cresswell. Cresswell looks for the shot, doesn't have it. Back to Allen. Over to Perry. Perry on the move with a layup. Too strong. Giddens with a rebound. No. Battle on the board. Bates out to Allen. Allen fakes the shot on the drive. He's oh, got it. What a shot by Allen. Left hander by Harry Allen. And Frank Alfonso Giddens is doing a very strong job off the board tonight so far. He sure is. There goes Walls looking. Ball almost taken. Witherspoon, ball blocked by Cresswell. Cresswell goes, looks beat, doesn't have the pass. Coming down, finds Harry Allen. Allen underneath Giddens, almost loses it. Battle underneath the ball. Walking. We're going to have a walk on Cranford. Ten seconds left. Eagles by five here in the first quarter. Inbound coming. They tried. Bates tries to save. Ball goes out of bounds. Six seconds left. And I think they were throwing out on the inbounds pass to try to get the dunk. Yeah, I'm not sure you can get that cute with the ball at this point in the game, Jim. There's a long jumper off. Barnes on the rebound. Scores with one second left. Rich Barnes makes it Eagles 13, Penwood 10 at the first quarter. And here come the Norristown cheerleaders, led by Captain D'Amica Vaughn and Jill Kinkner, with senior, seniors Wendy Hauser, Deanne DeLuca, Gwen Par Paravati, Tiffany Bush, and Fawn Downer. The only junior on the team at this point is Jennifer Caparillo. Then there are sophomores Tammy Kane, Missy Mazzarella, Heather DePiro, Dolores Iggins, Kristen Montleone, Margie Williams, Michelle Dudek, Lori Lester, Mia Hong, Jackie McAlonis, and Megan Updike. More players than they have on the team, Frank. One of the things we've noticed about cheerleading, Frank, you know, there's been a debate about cheerleaders being athletes. But when you watch them perform and you watch some of the stunts they do, uh, cheerleading has certainly come a long way from it was, what it was in early days. Rashi Green in for the Eagles, replacing Cresswell. Uh, he's in also with number 25, Willie Anderson. There's Green in the corner, outside to Allen. Perry and Bates stay on the court. Over to Perry. Perry's got the shot into Green. Green with a jumper on the move. He's got it. Rashi Green moving along the right baseline. Eagles 15 to 10. Back, Perry with a long shot. Doesn't take it. There's Walls from the outside. Strong. Rebound Anderson. Anderson to Green. Driving on Walls. Stops with a jumper. No. Battle underneath. Two guys. They lose it. They're going to have a foul. That's a big foul. That's on Barnes. I'll tell you, Jim, I thought that was a poor call. I mean, he could have called that on anybody under there. There goes Willie Anderson in for a basket. And right away, Anderson and Green coming off the bench make their present felt. Eagles up by seven. There's Walls. Ball almost taken, is taken. Green on the steal. Oh. Rebound, no good. Bates. Bates again. Bates up. He's got it. Eagles 19 to 10. Penwood calling timeout as the Eagles six quick points in the first minute of the second quarter. And there's that infusion of new blood, Frank, the depth we talked about beforehand. Well, I think that's our big advantage. You see, the first quarter we ran, 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 ran with them. And then we have the subs to put in to keep running. And I'm not sure they do have the subs to put in. Penwood also definitely hurt. Barnes is going to have to be taken out with his three fouls. And Barnes is their big scorer, big player back from last year. Well, for the most part, the refs are letting them play a good, tough game. They're not calling every little touch, but I thought that one call underneath there was rather poor. As you know, from especially uh, in previous years, it's the last quarter that tells. The Norristown team has the depth in the last quarter. They're running as fast as they do the first quarter, and the other teams are usually out of steam. Yeah, the only thing you worry about in that last quarter, we remember from previous years, if it's close and it comes down to foul shooting, we can be in trouble sometimes. There goes Curry. Green trying with a steal. Perry off his feet. Ball in. Shot off there. And there's Witherspoon battling back. Walls controls. Ball off his foot. Almost loses it. 
there goes Walls again. Like a hot potato there. Green and Anderson outside, putting good pressure on. There goes Walls, Green on him. Over. To... Oh. Oh. Good play by Green, but he stopped on the end line. Yeah, I think his foot went out of bounds, but it was a great, great play there. Yep. Just stepped on the end line. Ball stolen away. Here comes Anderson. Anderson's going all the way. Jumper, no, oh, oh goal goal tending. Up high was Curry. Eagles not wasting any time. Steam off to an 11-point lead. Here comes Walls with the ball. And the Eagles on fire here in the first two minutes of the second quarter. Over to Strickland. Strickland back to Walls. Walls looks for Curry. Goes back to Strickland. Strickland in the middle to Cranford. Out to Walls. Over to Curry. Curry the bounce pass to him. Green bothering him. Cranford up. Shot no good. Curry with a big rebound. Ball stolen by Walls. Walls going all the way. It's got to be And we charged. have a charging foul on Raheem Walls. Eagles defense holding its ground. Draws the charge. Comes number five, Leroy Lewis, five foot four inches, smallest man on the team. Looks like they're going to try somewhat of a press, maybe a half court yeah. press. Goes Allen with a ball to Anderson. Anderson back to Allen. They break the press. Anderson on the move. Finds Curry underneath. It's going to be interesting to see how we handle this half court press. That, that apparently seems to be what they're going to try to do. Oh. Foul is on Witherspoon, the big center, his second. Curry on the board. Shooting two. He's got the first one. Well, he handled it fairly easily that time and broke it. And, you know, if that's what we keep doing, they're going to have to drop out of it. Eagles by 13. Penwood still not on the board here in the second quarter. Lewis with the ball. Over to Curry. Curry looks underneath. Pass is strong. Curry controls. Ball stolen by Cranford. Cranford gets it to Lewis. Lewis finds Strickland. Strickland looking. Ball blocked. Battle. Out of bounds. Eagles inbound, Green, it's gonna be Harry Allen bringing it up. Still with that half court pressure now. There's Anderson. Anderson with the trap, finds Allen. Oh, there's Perry underneath. Wide open, Allen almost had him. Ball lost by the Eagles. But there was Perry, wide open. Somebody forgot him, nobody was playing him. The thing about the press is you try to force them to make those long passes comes Lewis. Lewis over to Curry. Curry on the move into Strickland. Nice pass. Ball in and out. Pinwood can't buy a basket right now. Anderson. Anderson back to Allen. Allen on the move. Over to Lewis. Lewis with a jumper. Strong no good. Battle on the boards. There's Condi Bates. Up. Bates with four. Eagles 25 to 10. Eagles good defense here and good rebounding beginning to pay off. Here goes Curry on the move. Doesn't have it there. Ball stolen away. We're going to have a foul. Should be on the Eagles. Foul on Anderson of the Eagles. Norristown fans not happy with that call. Ball comes out to Curry. Curry on the move. Pulls up with a jumper. No good. Rebound Perry. Perry releases to Anderson. Anderson off to Bates. There goes the dunk. Hindy Bates. Great play by Anderson. Hindy Bates on the big dunk. We'll have to get a name for that, Frank. Goes a left-handed shot by Strickland. No good. Rebound. Battle Curry. Ball stuck. Green. Looks down. Throws it too far. The Eagles trying to get the here. break. I think somebody got a finger in the eye. Here comes John Cresswell replacing Condi Bates for the Eagles. Weatherspoon out. 
Oh. Boy, he's really cut his he's eyes. He's really bleeding. cut. They want the trainer right away. There's a timeout. Jim Witherspoon really got trying to figure out who came in for him. It, but you know, Jim, it was Anderson that made that dunk for Bates. I, I'm glad to see that, again, we don't seem to have any selfish ball players out there. Anderson could have tried to take it in himself and score, but he saw the man coming up had a better chance than he did, and he passed it off. And that's, that's what wins ball games for you. Yeah, that's something we hope last because we also have seen teams here and other teams also with some selfish players. And you love to see a team play as a team. If these people can realize, you know, how good they can be as a group, Frank, and can mature over the year, Coach Cresswell has himself a nice ball club on his hands. Comes number 54, Keith Manier, in the lineup now. Here comes Lewis with the ball. Strickland outside with him. Curry is in. There goes Lewis with a trap. Ball taken by Anderson. Anderson on the move. He's got it. Willie Anderson with six points. And Frank. Willie Anderson and uh, Rashid Green have really sparked the Eagles, Frank, coming off the bench. There goes Strickland, short jumper. He's got it. Pinwood on the board at going four minutes and 40 seconds for their first basket here in this second quarter. Over to Green. Green looks cross court for Anderson. Almost stolen by Cranford. Anderson to Bates. But see, that's what you try to do with the press. You try to force the long pass, then hope you can get there Big in time assist, to Willie Anderson there. Rap Curry out of bounds. Eagles are up by 19, moving away. Timeout, Penwood. And I'll, I'll tell you, Penwood had the speed in the beginning, but the Eagles just have that depth. They can put in a couple players, and it doesn't hurt your starting team. It's like the Eagles do have seven or eight starting players. Penwood expected Frank to be a force in District 1 this year. Still early. Eagles coming up later on this week at Downingtown. A real test going against a good team, a big team on their court. And then on Friday, opening here at home against Abington. Central Bucks East next week. And then we go to the Wissahickon tournament, Frank. And you hope that we'll be tested there, get some uh, strong teams, see exactly how we're going to do this year. The great thing about the Eagles, although they don't have a big player, and when I say big, I mean like six, 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 seven to do their rebounding, they all rebound. You've always got three guys under there. You've got six hands going up, and I mean going up high. Well, several of the Eagles play. Rashid Green's 5'10", and he plays a lot taller than that. Um, Anderson plays taller than 6-1, and Perry plays taller than his 6-3. They six, certainly three. do. When you see those hands go up in the air, all of them up above that rim, it's just incredible. Right, Penwood coming out with pressure. Number 14, Dan Higgins, is coming to line him. Pen Penwood falling back. Here's Cresswell, Green, Allen, Perry, Bates in the lineup for the Eagles. Green back to Allen. Penwood falling back into their zone. There's Cresswell up high. Over to Green. Green looks for the jumper, comes back to Cresswell. Cresswell around to Allen. Allen fakes the shot, comes to Cresswell. Cresswell launches a three. He's got it. Cresswell keeps doing that. Penwood's in trouble. First points for Cresswell. Eagles go up 34 to 12. Here comes Higgins. Higgins to Curry. Curry looks for the three-pointer. Launches it off the rim. Curry, strong rebound. On the dribble. Settles down. No break. Goes back to Allen. Eagles will slow it down. Smart move. Here comes Allen. Gonna have to ask Harry in class tomorrow where he wears his pants, Frank. <laughs> Allen underneath. What a pass to Perry. There's a block by Cranford, but what a pass by Harry Allen. Allen's got great peripheral vision, Frank. He, he sees the court does. very, very well. And here was a good example of it with that pass. I think we're gonna see a lot of scouts looking at Harry Allen this year. Perry going on the line. Jim, did, for some reason, Condi Bates has just about every finger taped up. Do you have any idea why that is? Maybe he's got the plays written on his fingers. No, <laughs> Frank, you think I, he's got, maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> Perry with the second one. He's got it. Eagles up 35 to 12. Coming down to the two-minute mark here in the first half. Here's Higgins moving up court. Higgins goes over. And here's Perry. Perry hits the ball off of Strickland. Giddens coming back in for the Eagles. 
Condi Bates sitting down. And Frank, one of the things you notice with the Eagles on defense, they are contesting every pass. And that's the secret. When you have their speed, you never relax. You don't let the other team relax. Here goes Cresswell. Cresswell over to Allen. Allen moving on the dribble back to Cresswell. Cresswell over to Green. Green launches the jumper. Strong off the board, but there's Perry with the rebound. Out to Allen. Rashi Green is not bashful about shooting. Perry comes up to the top of the key, moves up high. Starts off to the right. Here's Cresswell. Looks for the shot. Doesn't have it. Comes back to Harry. Allen at the top over to Cresswell. Cresswell almost took the shot over to Green. Green on the move. Underneath finds Perry. Perry moves. Ball blocked. Controlled by Manier. Manier over to Higgins. Higgins coming up with a dribble. Bounce pass up court. Saved by Curry. Curry back to Higgins. Higgins to Curry. Curry on the move over to Manier. Manier's got the layup. First two. Keith Manier. 35 to 14. Have to remember it was 13 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. Eagles have gone on a 22 to 4 tear. Allen doesn't have it. Comes back outside. Looks for Green in the corner over to Cresswell. Cresswell launches a three. No, too strong. Rebound. Hurry. Looks like the foul is going to be on 34 Cranford. That almost looked like a good block from here. Yeah, I, I didn't see the foul at all unless there was some body contact we didn't notice. But I'll tell you, the Eagles have to take some of those outside shots. They got to keep the defense honest. This will be Derek Perry. Perry in the early going with 10 rebounds. And we thank our able statistician, John McGuigan, coming here, giving up his borough duties to come here and keep score for us at the Eagles basketball game. John, an ex-student here, St. Joe's graduate, shows how some of our fans follow the team, brothers on the team, of course. There's Mike Strickland with that left-hand shot. Four points for Strickland. 24 seconds left. The Eagles will probably be content to yeah, take the, the last shot. Yeah, the coach gave the signal to go for one shot. Cresswell holds the ball. Harry Allen is up by the circle. Green is outside with him. Clock's coming down to 10 seconds. Allen watching it over to Cresswell. Now they start the offense. Over to Cresswell. Cresswell to Green. Green will launch it. Ball is blocked. Green saves it. Almost gets the inbound pass. There goes Higgins. And the buzzer sounds at halftime. Eagles, 36. The visitors from Penwood, 16. An impressive first half for the Norristown Eagles, Frank. Well, it, it just seems like uh, Penwood is off when they're shooting. I can't believe they're that bad as shooters. But they missed a lot of uh, shot, little 10-foot jump shots. They, they've got to be better than that. Right. What amazes me is Norristown's rebounding. Yeah, I think we may be a pretty strong rebounding team most of this year, Frank. We're going to surprise a team. Maybe the team with a good 6'8", 6'10", big men, but we're not going to run into many of them. I'd like to turn it over now to our statistician, John McGuigan, to give the halftime stats. John? Thanks, Jim. At the half for Penwood, <clears throat> Rich Graves with six points, Mike Strickland, four points, Jim Weatherspoon, two points, Zach Cranford, two points, and Keith McNear, two points off the bench. For the host Eagles, game's high scorer Derek Perry with 10 points, 10 boards. Condi Bates, eight points. Rasheed Green off the bench with two. John Cresswell with three. Harry Allen with two. Alfonso Giddens, five. And Willie Anderson, six points. Those are your halftime stats. Back for the second half, Eagles fans. Pretty impressive first half for Norristown, Frank. Penwood coming in as one of the four teams we've seen mentioned as a District 1 possibility. And Eagles right now sitting on a very comfortable 36 to 16 lead here as we get ready to begin the second half. Well, Jim, I said at the beginning tonight that we would win a lot of games defensively, more so defensively and off than we do offensively. And this is right now is a defensive victory. The number of times we stole the ball, the number of rebounds we got down the opponent's end of the court. This is what I would call a defensive win. Eagles opening the second half with their starting team. Penwood also out with its starting team. Curry in by no substitution here. Higgins Higgins with the ball looks for Curry comes across to walls. 
Here's Higgins, almost a foul on Allen. Giddens goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Curry with a jumper, strong off the board. And there's Perry up high. Quick release to Allen. Allen gives off to Bates. Bates with a spin move, no good. There goes, I think we're gonna have a foul. Looks like it's on Cranford. Giddens on the rebound. Third foul on Cranford. And again, Frank, we see the Eagles pounding those boards, getting that second and third shot. That's well, the way you the, win games. The advantage they have is their speed, and if they keep running, running, and running, I'm not sure Penwood can keep up with them. Giddens misses the first shot. Giddens ready with a second. Shot around, now, no good, there's Barnes. Barnes over to Higgins. Mr. Elvich. <laughs> there goes the feed in down from uh, Walls to Barnes. Barnes with an easy layup, 36-18. There's Perry, Perry with a jumper. Shot up strong, no good, but Perry coming in. Follow, Great he's follow got it. Great follow up by Perry. Big rebound, Derek Perry going high. Here comes Higgins coming down court. Higgins on the dribble, bounce pass to Walls, back to Higgins up high. Over to Walls. Walls on the move, Giddens playing him, ball knocked out of bounds. Pinwood ball under its own basket. Walls on the inbound pass. There goes Barnes. Barnes bothered by Bates, battled by Bates. We're going to have a foul. Wow. Bates thought he had all ball. Yeah, that's another And he one very well may have. Questionable calls. Well, uh, we're not here to do the officiating. Yeah. But sometimes I think the officials call that no matter what. They figure they there had to be a foul. Sporn's on the line for two. First shot strong. Does not look like a good foul shooter, Frank, with that motion. Well, I'll tell you, Penn Wood, their, their shooting is really off tonight. I can't believe their shooting is that bad. Well, you know, Frank, they're a fairly big team. They might be in the habit of getting some easier buckets underneath. And we have a tough defense. We're playing them all oh, over yeah, the court. Certainly. Press well to Allen. Allen on the quick dribble. Over to Perry. Giddens underneath. And we have a walk on Harry Allen. It's interesting, Frank, we play Giddens underneath and we're moving Perry outside, probably because well, Perry's the better outside shooter. That's what I think. I think John noticed that we have to make some outside shots and he put Perry out there to make them. There goes Curry. Curry on the move. We're going to have a block on Giddens. Second foul on Giddens. Penwood will inbound. Higgins with a ball underneath its own basket. And there they go in that stack offense again. There goes the pass over to Curry in the corner. Curry with a fake. Goes in, finds Barnes underneath. Good play by Bates. Jump ball. Nice play on Condi Bates. I thought there was Bates. a walk on that, though, Jim. Did you see him shuffle his feet? Good defense by Bates because Barnes is very strong underneath. Allen with the ball moving up court. Looks for Perry. Finds him. Barnes playing him. Curry... Perry goes all the way underneath. Looks like he wanted to pass that ball off and just didn't find anybody. Comes Higgins on the break, over to Walls. Walls with a jumper up, no good. Rebound Cresswell. Over to Allen. Allen on the move. All the way, Allen, Harry Allen on the drive. Nice move, the way he just delays there. And it almost looks as though he's losing control of the ball down there, Frank. He gets that shot off. Walls underneath the Barnes. Barnes on the dribble. Barnes with a jumper contested by Bates, blocked by Bates, getting up high. Over to Allen. Allen on the move with a fake, on the move. No good. Perry, up. Perry, Derek Perry has it. 14 points by Perry. Eagles 42 to 18 over Penwood. Curry, battle underneath, finds nice pass looking for Barnes. 10 points for Barnes to lead Penwood. Mike Strickland ready to enter game for Penwood. There goes Cresswell over to Perry. Perry fakes the jumper, comes back outside, moves out, shot up, in and out, no good, rebound, Curry. Nobody contesting him. Over to Higgins, Higgins on the move down court. Willie Anderson off the bench for the Eagles. There's Walls, Walls back to Higgins. Higgins on the move over to Curry. Curry driving, finds Barnes, it should have, oh, 
Boy, that looked like a walk. Like to see that one on instant replay. Yeah. Barnes with the basket. He goes by two. Oh. Oh. oh, did you see that? He is hurt. The officials aren't aware of it. Oh, they ran him into a pick. He may be well, losing. Well, he ran into him. The foul certainly isn't on the Norristown player. I think he's. Perry was just standing there, and oh. the guy just walked around and banged into him. I think he's. I think he's just woozy. They ran him into a pick. He was running up court. He probably hit his head on Perry's elbow. And Frank, something else we ought to note here and should mention. Dennis Flynn, right out, trainer on hand for the home games. And what a valuable asset that is. Just in case, okay, we've had two Penwood players now hurt, and we have somebody on hand to give some treatment. In fact, coming out is Witherspoon, coming out of the locker room now, bandage over his eye. But a real help, because you hate to see a player get hurt, a player from anybody team. And you he certainly seems don't. seems to be in pain. I'm surprised they don't have any smelling salts. They're talking to him, and he's shaking his head yes, so apparently he can understand them. Yeah, he's down flat on the floor. Coach Flynn, and well, he he's, also. He's moving his legs. That's good. Okay, he's sitting up. And you notice the student trainer, Hillary Hayes, out there also. And the Eagles make use of this. So you have a lot of people uh, working with Mr. Flynn and getting some valuable help, possible profession later on. And you know, Jim, you realize how foolish we were not to have people like oh. Flynn 20 years ago. Frank, when, uh, the conditions. Can you remember going to practices and running without water and thinking that that was the thing to do? Yeah. Nowadays, coaches wouldn't dream of, of doing anything like that. Well, we have this uh, break in the action here. I'd like to thank our cameramen tonight, our student cameramen, Dan Smith and John McCarraher, two fine students at Norristown High School who gave up their evening to come out tonight, work the cameras for us. Dennis Flynn taking Walls into his locker room to examine him a little more carefully. They want to make sure he's okay before they allow him to go back in the game. And there's two starters for Pinwood that have been yeah, hurt. Yeah, that's been a tough game for them. Yeah, it, it, however, it would not have made any kind of a difference in this game. The no, Eagles I don't have been so. this strong. Eagles ball. Lewis comes in for Pinwood. Over to Allen. Willie Anderson is in the game for the Eagles for, for Giddens. There goes Allen with the feed to Perry. 16 points for Perry. Allen unselfishly giving that ball up. Higgins coming down. Looks underneath. We're going to have a foul. Looks like on Bates. He tried to go steal that ball. Looked like then he wasn't sure where the ball was and just looked around. Here comes Strickland coming in for Cranford. Higgins to inbound. Finds Curry. Curry out to Lewis. Lewis out to Higgins up high. Higgins on the dribble to Barnes. They're going to get a good call by the ref. On Perry. I'll tell you, Barnes has a big first stride when he's going toward that basket. Inbound to Barnes. Turn around. Jumper strong. No good. Battle on the boards. Allen comes oh, out. He stepped out of bounds. his arm. No, he stepped out of bounds. Did he? Yes. I thought somebody grabbed his arm when he came out of there. Good call there. The Eagles would have had a fast break there as they were coming out. Would have turned into an easy basket. There's the inbound to Barnes. No, Perry on the rebound. Perry's 14th rebound. What a night for Derrick Perry. 16 points, 14 rebounds so far with 357 left in the third quarter. There goes Anderson all the way underneath on the dribble. Now, Jim, did you see the way that the Penwood player went up and hit the net? That is supposed to be goaltending. Willie Anderson with his eighth point. He's the young man who probably could have started for Upper Marion this year. A welcome addition to the Eagles team. There goes Lewis, almost stolen by Perry. Over to Curry. In there, the Strickland turnaround. He's got it. Mike Strickland, left-hand turnaround shot. 
Six points for Strickland. 46-24 Eagles. Allen on the dribble. Into Bates. Bates on the move. We're going to have a foul. Let's see who it's on. What amazes me about Harry Allen is the way he can operate at different speeds with such body control. It's just incredible. Rich Barnes with his fourth foul. Thanks again to jo John McGuigan for keeping us up to date. Bates foul shot, no good. And this is one area we would like to see the Eagles improving in, Frank, shooting their fouls. Yeah, when the big games come along, that can make the difference. Ready with a second shot. It's up. He's got it. Bates makes it. Eagles by 23. They're coming down to the three-minute mark here. Ball stolen. Perry finds Anderson. Anderson on the drive. Anderson's got double figures coming off the bench. The second high scorer for Norristown tonight. There's Curry all the way underneath with a dribble. Nice move, Ray Curry. Ha! Oh! oh. <laughs> Connie Bates, <laughs> the pass that hit the re rafters. It looked like he had the well, curveball on that, too. He certainly can throw it far enough, I'll say that. Here goes Barnes, shot no good. Curry strong for another rebound. Curry really has good uh, balance. Cresswell with the ball, looks for Anderson. Anderson to Bates, Bates off to Perry. Oh, Beautiful great pass. Great teamwork. Connie Bates, That's good the teamwork. That's kind of teamwork that wins games for you. 51-26, number 24, Dwayne Grayson off the Pinwood bench. And we would expect to see the Eagles starting to go with their subs soon. Shot no good, battle Barnes underneath. Contest, Barnes back, Barnes strong, no good. Here comes Allen. Allen. Trying to do a, come on. Harry Allen with that reverse dribble. There's Anderson over to Perry. Perry to Allen, Allen with Lewis. Going in the pivot, try to feed behind his back. Foul by Lewis, and there's a mismatch. Allen is 6'3", Lewis is 5'4". The biggest fear I have with Harry Allen is that he's gonna lose his pants. <laughs> well. Ooh. Oh! There goes that inbound feed. Perry going up for the lob. Was he fouled? And he missed it, yes. <laughs> I'm not sure John Cresswell liked that. Yeah, the, the thing you're afraid of is you don't want to see your team, we'll use the word, hot dogging, because things like that could start happening in regular games. Plus, you know, it shows up the other teams. And, and yeah. You don't want it to happen to your players, so you don't like to see it happen to others. Well, I can remember a couple years ago when something like that cost us a ball game in the playoffs. It was more than a couple years ago, but I remember it happening. Second shot there was knocked away because of the lane violation. Curry with a shot out of the corner. No good. Ball kept alive in there by Grayson. Ball going up. Stolen by Curry with a control. Curry on the dribble. Over to Higgins. Higgins bothered by Anderson. Anderson goes to Strickland. Strickland to Grayson. Grayson's shot is sweet. Rebound, Mike Strickland. Nice rebound, nice basket. You know, Frank, Pinwood plays in this same league with Glenn Mills and uh, Chester. It will be very interesting to follow their results this year because traditionally, those three teams are among the strongest teams in the district. Yeah, I, I gotta believe Penwood's a better shooting club than they've shown tonight. Of course, you got to remember, Norristown is forcing them to hustle their shots. They're probably used to getting more time to get a shot off. And now, tonight, they have to really hustle their shots. That could be the difference. Pinwood foul was by Dwayne Grayson, his first. Tracy, Raid off, Tra Tracy Wade, six foot one inch, off the Eagles bench, ready to come in. Harry Allen has the foul shot. Wade is replacing Cresswell. Coach Cresswell beginning to use his bench now. And you would hope in a game like this that he would do it. Allen makes them both. Seven points for Harry. Eagles up 54-28, sorry, six points for Harry. Curry on the move, no good. Battle, Bates on the walk, coming off the board. Penwood will inbound under its own basket. 
One minute, 16 seconds left let's here see in if the they third still quarter. Try to get it to that guy right underneath. They've been trying that all night. There's Barnes. Barnes up, well, shot around. He's got it. Time. 14 points for Rich Barnes. Here comes Tracy Wade on the dribble. Wade almost lost the ball that time. Harry Allen looks underneath for Anderson. Anderson wasn't away to pass. And that's what you know. You... Here comes Higgins. Higgins over to Grayson. Grayson to Higgins. Higgins with a short jumper around. No good. Curry with another rebound. Looks up court, finds Allen. Allen underneath. He's got it. Number 30, Strickland getting there a little too late. Eagles by 26, 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Here comes Higgins down for Penwood. In the middle, ball almost stolen. Strickland controlling to Barnes. Barnes oh, blocked by block. Allen. Loses to Strickland. Ball coming over. Barnes saves to Bates. Bates to Perry. Perry on the move. He's Great got it. Move. The way Perry used his Derek body. Perry with keep, 21. Keep his body between the defender and the ball. Great move. There goes Curry with a three-pointer. Way off. And they have been. Their shooting is really off. There's Willie Anderson up. He's got it. Now, I've never points seen, for Anderson. And I've the, never seen a Penwood team shoot this bad. But it could be that they're being harassed so much. Third quarter, Eagles 60, Penwood 30. And this is really quite a surprise, Frank. And again, the Norristown cheerleaders, led by senior captains Jill Kinkner and D'Amico Vaughn, with the other senior cheerleaders, Wendy Hauser, Deneen DeLuca, Gwen Paravati, Tiffany Bush, and Fawn Downer. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's Gina Paravati. Nice to see so many. Nice to see so many girls participating. And quality young ladies, you know, Frank. I've had some of them in class. I know you have just a really nice group of girls. And anybody who says they're not athletes, they're out here the whole year long for every sport. They're practicing. I mean, to hear that they aren't athletes is just unbelievable. Long hours put in by these girls. And, <clears throat> and there goes my drink. <laughs> nice move. Can we Frank. get that on TV? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll change notebooks Look, next, next day. Next time I'll bring a sponge. Okay, Rashid Green in now, Tracy Wade, Willie Anderson, Condi Bates, and Derek <laughs> Perry. Frank's trying to put us not underwater, but under Coke. I best I better be careful how I say that, huh? <laughs> Wade with a shot miss, Perry coming outside, and I would expect that Perry and Bates are going to be relieved very shortly for the Eagles, and Coach Cresswell will get a chance to see some of his other players. Wade over to Green. Green looking around, finds Wade up high. Wade with control over to Perry. Perry trying to force things a little bit. Shoots a jumper, he's got it. 23, Derek Perry. Going along with 17 rebounds, there's Curry. Curry on the move, short jumper no. Higgins on the rebound, dribbles out. Finds Barnes underneath, Barnes loses the ball. You know, one advantage the Eagles have is they can move Perry to the outside and still don't lose much of their inside game. There's Wade, looks for a shot quickly, but gives up the idea. Over to Green, Green on the drive. Green underneath finds Perry. Perry goes to shoot the jumper. Barnes on the control. Barnes loses the ball, saved by Green. Nice play to Anderson. Anderson to bounce pass in the corner. Perry with a jumper up, yes. Gary Perry, 25. I believe he had 25 his last game. Frank, I'm watching this Coke. I think it's beginning to move on us. Is it? Which? Perry <laughs> <laughs> goes underneath the Barnes. Barnes with a spin move underneath. He's got it. We're going to have a foul on Bates. That will be Bates' third personal. Giddens off the bench for the Eagles, replacing Willie Anderson. And number 34, Zach Cranford, comes into the game for Penwood. And Mark's, Mike Strickland goes out. Strickland with eight points actually played a nice game for Penwood. 
They Barnes just missed so many of those short little jump shots tonight. Barnes up, no good. It's Perry strong off the board, another rebound. 18. And Perry will have the double-double tonight. <laughs> Wade up high at the top of the key. Looks for Green in the corner. Rashid with the ball. Comes in to Bates. Bates with a spin move. Yes. Condi Bates in the pivot. Turns, makes the shot. Eagle 66. Penwood 32. Curry with the ball. Looking for Muneer underneath. Nothing there. Tries to force it in. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Condi Bates. Giddens on the steal. Perry with a dribble, but he's going to give the ball up to Wade. Coach Crusher all looking down his bench, and I, I would suspect that Bates and Perry will be taken out very shortly. Rashid Green in the corner of Bates, Perry. Perry on the move to Bates. Bates just misses. Maneer over to Higgins. Higgins, Higgins on the dribble. <laughs> have to excuse us from laughing, but... <laughs> My partner here, Frank, is having a lot of trouble here <laughs> controlling himself. I don't know what they put in this Coke tonight, but it was a little too strong for me. Foul on Pinwood. Our production crew ought to get a picture of our table here. Yeah, speaking of our production crew, again, our student cameramen tonight are Dan Smith and John McCarraher. Hurry on the line, shot is good. 26 for Derek. Number, th number 22, Ian Morris, comes in the lineup for the Eagles. There's go Curry. Curry around to Barnes. Nice pass. 18 for Rich Barnes. But that's a misleading 18. Here comes Wade. Wade to Perry. Curry over to Green. Green launches a jumper. Strong off the board. Rebound controlled by Cranford. Harry Allen ready to come back in, and I'm surprised he's not sending in the subs. 442 left. Out to Higgins. Higgins loses the ball to Wade. Ooh, Wade got away with one there. Oh, Left-handed layup. Did. Should have been a, a carry. Call there. Sorry, a Tracy. Tracy was in my homeroom two years ago, but that was a carry. 70 to 34, Eagles. Higgins over to Curry. Curry on the move. Ball hit by Morris, foul on Ian Morris, six foot three inch eagle. <laughs> Derek Perry being replaced. What a game for his opening home game 27 points and 18 rebounds. You can't ask for much more than that from one of your players. I think, Frank, the janitorial crew, the maintenance staff, will make a request <laughs> that you hang around after this game for a little mop-up. Yes. Uh, it was Harry Allen again, hitting Tracy Wade. Wade with four, assist Allen, and again, Allen showing that tremendous vision and sense of where his teammates are going to be. Cranford, a jumper, doesn't hit a thing. Battle under the boards. Morris tries to hit his player, misses him. Ball comes to Wade. Up to Giddens. Giddens with a layup. He's got it. Alfonso Gibbons with seven. And there's a night, everything going right. Ian Morris falling out of bounds, tried to bounce it off the knee of a Penwood player, and it ended up going up court. Morris on the rebound. Over to Allen. Allen on the dribble, tries the around the back, and you don't want to see too much of that at this point. Wade on the drive, gives up, no good. Morris on the rebound, ball is rejected, Giddens controls. Coming down to the 315 mark in the first half. Allen with the ball, Allen to Green. Green to Morris, ball tipped away, controlled by Higgins. And off the bench for the Eagles, there's a steal. Green underneath, try to get too fancy. Morris over to Green. Green with a jumper, no. 
Harry Allen on the rebound. Colin Giddens up. Allen up to the top of the key. Eagles will set over to Green. Back to Allen. Allen launches the three. He's got it. The amazing Allen thing is. 11. Fourth Eagles player in double figures. The, the Eagles look totally fresh out there, and Penwood looks totally beat. Curry in the corner, looking for the bounce pass to Barnes. He's got it. Barnes moving on Morris. He's got it. 20 points. We got a lot of subs here. Number 30, Mike Strickland, and number 24, Dwayne Grayson, off the bench for Penwood. Going out are Curry and Barnes. Also in for the Eagles, number 41, Mark Palumbo. And number 32, who is that, John McGuigan? It's Chris McGuigan into the lineup. And he wastes no time in firing strong off the board. Ball Braddock controlled by Muneer for Pinwood. Coming down to the two minute mark, Higgins on the dribble. Bounce pass. I'd love to know what Penwood's shooting percentage is tonight. I bet they're oh, not I'll shooting 20%. You. There goes Strickland, long left-hander, no good. Rebound, got it. Number 34, Zach Cranford. As four, here comes Palumbo for the Eagles. Number 31, Nealman is in the lineup also. To Morris, knocked out of bounds by Muneer. It's Morris, Nealman, McGuigan, Palumbo, and Wade for the Eagles. 135. There goes Palumbo with a fake on the drive. Finds Morris. Morris turns around. No good. Nealman battling with a spin. No. Ball off the boards. Morris. Morris again. Morris controls, but he's out of bounds. Ball will go over to Penwood. But Eagles leading 77 to 38. You could see even our short players out there out rebounding Penwood shows you how tired Penwood is. Penwood Higgins with the ball. Gives it up. Ball is stolen by Morris. Up to Wade. Wade on the drive. He's got it. Tracy Wade with six. And here comes number 24. Tim Nguyen is off the bench for the Eagles. Ball stolen by Wade. Wade over to Palumbo. Palumbo's got it. Yes. Assist to Wade. Eagles nice 81 to 38. That was an easy shot. Eagle foul on Nealman. Nguyen coming in the lineup. Tracy Wade going out for the Eagles. Wade off the bench for a strong game. Six points. And I'll tell you, Jen, John Cresswell has created a tradition here at Norristown of fast basketball, tenacious defense, but unselfish basketball. You just hope they can keep that up, particularly when they're tested for the first time this year. Would you tell John McGuigan his brother's losing his pants? I think that must be the mode of the present day, you know? That's what, the, what they're expected to do. 36 seconds left. <laughs> Eagles with a comfortable opening performance and a very impressive opening performance over a team that is supposed to be one of the contending teams for the District 1 title. Here comes Palumbo. Palumbo on the move, spins. Well, uh, I can't help but believe that Penwood's going to come along, though. They have talent on that team. They're just having a bad night. Of course, they have two starters out with injuries. And the one thing you want to be careful about you don't want to get too overconfident. Palumbo on the move. He's got it. Palumbo with four. Higgins coming down. Over to Strickland. Strickland on the dribble. Pulls up with a jumper. No good. Four seconds left. Morris. Palumbo to Nguyen. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Eagles. With an 83 to 39 strong opening game 
and in a few moments we'll turn over for stats to John McGuigan. We're also seeing if we can get Coach Cresswell over here tonight, but I'm not sure that he'll want to do this. He may prefer to be with his players. Yes, Frank gives me the word that he is going to be over in just a moment. Yeah, John wants to say a few words to his team, and then I believe he'll be over. But uh, well, Norristown looked impressive tonight, but I think Penwood had an off night. This isn't to take anything away from Norristown, but Penwood teams usually shoot a lot better. Then again, our tenacious defense, you know, they, they just aren't used to coming up against that every night. True test, Frank's going to come Wednesday night. We're going to Downingtown, and I think that's where, playing on their court, we're going to find out how our team can perform against a good team, and we're away. If the camera went with swing, they'll notice that we yes. do allow derelicts into these games. <laughs> Here are four of them right in front of us. And there's, there's Coach Cresswell. John, strong opening performance for the team tonight. And uh, you have to be happy with the play tonight. Uh, Tough game coming up Wednesday going in. Um, from your perspective, you expect anything like this for your opening home game? Well, after the weekend where we weren't, weren't in control at all, we, we worked yesterday, we practiced two hours yesterday and worked on, on having some patience and, and working against the zone, and it paid off tonight. We were, we were very patient and uh, did a lot of things right. You have, have to be happy with the patience because that's something sometimes players have a tendency to want to play out of control, but your kids tonight seem to be in control. John, also, you're a very quick team this year, don't you? We're quick. We're quick defensively. Uh, over the weekend, we were quick defensively. We just we were just out of control offensively. We're, we tried to do too many things. We got a power team, too. If we, get, if we work the ball inside, again, we're not a great jump shooting team. We got hurt early, didn't make some jump shots. If we would have made our jump shots early, we'd have, we would have decided real early. Uh, we rebounded well and, and and we're very, very patient offensively. Beginning of the second quarter, John. Penwood coming on at the end of the first quarter, 13-10. Inspired move on your part. You expect to get from Green and Anderson what you got. Is this something we can count on seeing all year? We put we put Rock in and Willie in to pick up tempo, to pick up defensive pressure. And it's exactly what, you know, those those type of players that we need coming off the bench to give us a spark. And they gave us a spark at that point. We were a little flat coming the end of the first first period, and they picked up the tempo for us, defensively especially. Yeah, they certainly did, and it's sure nice having them being able to count on them. Rebounding, John, we're not a big team, but it doesn't look as though it's going to be that much of a problem. They hit the boards well. Well, we have, we have Fonzo works very hard. Uh, Condi's got a big body. We, we have big bodies that we haven't had for a while, and Derek's a leaper. And Derek does a great job going up and getting, the, getting the, the basketball for us. I'd like to talk about Derek for just a few minutes, John, and I'll let you go back to the locker room because I know you want to be with the players. It seems to me that Derek keeps improving by leaps and bounds. You expect a really gigantic, I hate to put that kind of pressure on a young man here, but I think he's ready to have a, quite a year this year in District 1. Oh, he averaged 23 last year. I don't know how much more he can uh, do. It looks to me but he's even he, better. He can be a monster. He can, he can do a lot of things. Uh, our problem is where to play him. You know, he's more, he's more effective inside. Uh, we need his jump shooting outside. We have enough people where he's going to, he's, we're not going to, they're not going to be able to find him on, on defenses. Uh, we'll throw him inside, run him outside. He'll be all over the place. Okay. Thank you again, Coach Cresswell. Great game. Good start. Uh, I think I'll be down Wednesday. It's down in my neighborhood at Downingtown. Yeah, Downingtown will be very physical. Be physical. They'll come and try to beat us up and uh, it'll be a different type of ball game. Yeah, I expect that. And then first home game this Friday with Abington. Uh, what do you look for, maybe before we let you go, what do you look for in the league? Who can we count on? Pensbury's supposed to be good this year, from what I understand. Who else? Pensbury's okay. Uh, that's, that's the other division. Our division, our division's a little bit down. Uh, we don't, there's there's nobody that has any, any depth back. Uh, they're all they're all young teams. First time around, um, they might struggle. Second time around, they have some talent. Abington has some talent, they're just young. So we'll see, we'll see what happens early with them. Okay, good luck for the rest of this week. Good start, thank you very much. Frank, pretty good opening. Not too much we can say about that. Strong team. We didn't expect this. No, I didn't expect it. And like I say, I think Penwood had an off night. I think in their gym, it looks, it's going to be a lot closer game if we have to play them in their gym. Right. Um, but yeah, I was impressed tonight. And uh, I'll tell you, the, the, the thing we have to watch out for, like I say, the two things we have to watch out for, number one, eligibility. Number two, overconfidence. They have to stick with the coach, and they have to believe that he knows what he's doing. 
Okay. Fans, we're going to turn you over to John McGuigan to give you the final stats. We remind you that we have the opening league home game with Abington this Friday night. We hope to see you here. This is quite an Eagles team and worthwhile for you fans to come out and see. John? Thanks, Jim. First for Penwood, Rich Barnes was their high scorer with 20 points, four rebounds. Mike Strickland, nine points. John Witherspoon, two points. Ray Curry, unimpressive night, only two points and only one board. Zach Cranford, four points. Keith McNear, two points. That's totals for 39 for Penwood. For the host Eagles, game high score was Derek Perry, 27 points, 17 of those in the second half, and also had 18 boards. Willie Anderson had 12 points, Alfonso Giddens, seven. Harry Allen, seven, 11 points, three boards, but a ton of assists. John Cresswell, three points. Condi Bates, 11. Tracy Wade off the bench with six. Rashid Green, two. Palumbo with four. Eagles total 83. Once again, final score 80, Narstown 83, Penwood 39.